Can the African continent solve the global computer chip shortage? Africa is home to all uh, the natural resources used in electronic manufacturing, especially smartphones, as well as computer chips that power them. So why aren't there any African chip manufacturers to solve the chip shortage problem? Joining us from uh, Johannesburg to answer this question is Batong Kosokwane, an Afrofuturist researcher, columnist, and broadcaster. Batong, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning to you. Uh, we're drawing data from an article that you wrote uh, about this. Um, let's take a look at some of these African uh, the sh shipment uh, numbers as far as uh, phone shipments are concerned on the continent. Uh, how, how bad are these figures? So 11.3% uh, drop for mobile phone units. Uh, feature phones, that's down by 14%. Smartphones down by 7.1%. Uh, what do you make of these figures? Morning, Brother Rotis. Let's, let's put them into perspective first. When you say 14.3%, that's 21 million units that only arrived uh feature phones that only arrived in the african market when you talk about 7.1 that means only 21.5 million units of smartphones were of shipment smartphones rather arrived in south africa i mean in africa so that, that gives you a picture of what the chip shortage has done in terms of the global economy in terms of the global supply chains of computers uh, networks uh, laptops uh, vehicles and many other sort of uh, products that, that 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 transmit and receive data as a result now what what wrote is the reason why I wrote this article was to sort of ask Africa this question. Africa, you've got all these critical, critical, critical resources. Now, when we look into the composition of uh, uh, semiconductors, forty percent uh, 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 of them are forty percent of the composition is made out of steel, forty percent is made out of plastic. 10% is made out of aluminium and 10% is made of other sort of uh, metals such as uh, cadmium, aluminium, copper, zinc, and many other uh, mercury and many other metals that you find on the continent. These are all the fundamental components that you see in computers. Now, the question is that Africa holds all these resources. What is Africa doing to be the solution to this, to this, to this semiconductor shortage? Great, great question. It was a, a great article. Um, let's look at, okay, so let's see how the, how the, I guess, the East did it. Let's look at market share for semiconductors. Um, how did Taiwan um, get to dominate uh, so much, in your view? Look, I mean, I think, I think one thing that, that, that the Asia has done specifically, the East has done, is that they've been, they've been able to sort of catapult themselves and take advantage of the resources they have, not only just that, but also take uh, advantage of their global network. Uh, the largest chip uh, semiconductor uh, manufacturer is Taiwan Semiconductor uh, uh, Manufacturing Company. It's called TCMC. It's the world's largest chips. It, 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 it produces chips for Apple, Intel, and NVIDIA. Um, you know, another sort of, you know, power player within that region, you have uh, the Chinese, uh, 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 a Chinese uh, SMIC. Uh, it's the Chinese largest chip, uh, chip maker. And, you know, it, it, it got into a tit and tat with the United States during the during the tech war. So it's 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 market share is massive. But you'll find it very interesting, Rogers, that not a single um, not a single semiconductor company has complete market share when you look at the globe because of the nature of the semiconductor industry there's a lot of components and no one company has the capacity to supply so many components to all the technology and all the electronics in the world i mean you just think about in a phone in a microwave in a vehicle how many semiconductors are there in those in those in those devices so this 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 monopoly it, 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 there is no monopoly so i think what what the question needs need, that needs to be asked to africa specifically is what are we doing about it. I mean, for, for example, 40% of the composite of all computers is made out of steel. Now, steel is made out of iron ore. Now, when you look into the largest deposit of iron ore, you go to Guinea. Guinea, right here in South Africa. You look at the, uh, in, in, in Africa, rather, you look at the Simado uh, a project that's in Guinea. It holds about 4 billion tons of high-grade ore. Now, We've we've got this right in our in our in our in our doorstep. So how do we extract this, and how do we create value addition? How do we create all these semiconductors that Africa desperately needs in the world? Great stuff. And I think there in your article there was a a, a photo with all the resources and I guess the different countries, um, African countries where where they come from. So, I mean, isn't isn't this um, like the situation with uh, let's see now chocolates? And, and cocoa, where the Ivory Coast and Ghana dominates cocoa exports, but yet they are 
shut out from the multi-billion dollar um, chocolate markets. So is that a similar dynamic where we've got the raw, raw materials for all these semiconductors, but yet the finished output and I guess being a player in manufacturing were just not there? 100%. I mean, when you look at South Africa, for example, the bulk of the global platinum is mined in South Africa. 80% of global platinum comes from South Africa. But how many, how many semiconductors does, Africa, does South Africa uh, 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 produce? You know, close to zero. So it is exactly that. And the question I'm posing to Africa is that what is Africa doing about it? Because is it, is it our politics? Is it our economic policies? Is it uh, a lack of ideas and innovation? What is it? The purpose of this article was to pose the question and say, like, Africa, this is a mirror. Look at yourself. You've got all these resources at your disposal. You know, the East has done something right. There's a global shortage of this product. You've got all the mineral resources all the raw materials to put it together. Why aren't you putting it together? It's a, it's a good fact. Let's pull up. Uh, you did end the article with, uh, with a question. I think we have that, a quote there where you said, given that all the natural resources required to make computer chips are core in Africa, what is stopping us from being a leader in uh, manufacturing computer chips? So um, can we answer that, that question? I, I, I'm thinking, what? Is it, is it power? Because you need power to, to, to power the um, production of these chips. Is it ease of doing business? Um, I don't know, taxes? What, what, what do you think the issue is? What are the, the headwinds or the hurdles? So the insights that we're able to draw at iAfrican is simply this, Rotus. There's a lack of initiative. There's a lack of leadership when it comes to that. Um, and, and, and I think a lack of 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 robustness within our 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 business sector, uh, within 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 our business sector. I mean, when you've got all the raw materials, really, what there's nothing that's stopping you. It's the willingness to see it through. It's the willingness to say that, okay, guys, how do we put our hands together? There's 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 clearly this demand. We've got the raw materials, and even if we don't have the skills necessarily, I believe Africa has the skills. But even if where we have a shortage in niche, uh, in niche, in niche sort of sectors or, or niche sort of sort of sort of sort of you know itty bitty parts of the of the supply chains, we can always import uh, those 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 skills. Be it from 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 the east, uh, uh, like they're already doing it because we've already got the raw materials. So I think it's high time that Africa really assesses itself. We've got the raw materials. I think let's come up with the bravado, first of all, and let's come up with ideas and innovation that can really propel this. The semiconductor industry is a conduct is an industry that is going to grow by far. I mean, when you look at uh, how digitization is happening in, 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 in Africa, it's estimated that around 700 million headsets uh, will be carried by Africans by 2025. Now, where are all these computers, where are all these cell phones, where are all these laptops coming from? And I think that is a market that African businesses and Africans, Africans must exploit. Well said, well said. So would, you, would you prefer a Samsung or a TMS, TSMC to set up a facility in Africa? Or are you saying that this can be completely whole? I mean, you mentioned imports a moment ago. Can this be homegrown? 100%. Why not, Rotus? Why not? I mean, look at the Nigeria. We're already creating, you know, fintech companies that are that are that are drawing billions with of with of seed funding, and those are homegrown. When you look at the software, when you look at the maintenance, when you look at the ideas, they're all led by Nigerians. Why can't we do that? You know, why can't we do that? We've seen a rise in many in many e-commerce. Your Jumia, your 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 Flutterwave. Why can't we do that? You know, so I think definitely having a multinational just setting up shop here is not the same as us starting it ourselves. There's there's a lot of discipline, there's a lot of hard work, but there's also a lot of rewards by starting your own vehicle and seeing it through. And 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 and, and you know, wouldn't it be a good tour story to tell to see like, you know, a, an African semiconductor electronics company like samsung being homegrown you mm. know and having headquarters in all over africa i mean th that's a, that's an ambition that that the africa and its diaspora should i mean should have well said all right so i i guess i think you've mentioned this already initiative but as far as how africa breaks through to get to finished goods is it all about initiative or what else what else uh, we need to make that happen well we see with finished good it's much more complex uh first of all you need the skills uh Skills meaning you need, I think education is the biggest thing for, for, for Africa. Um, we need to emphasize mathematics, science, engineering, and, and, and technology. 
these are the building blocks in which you create the ideas to do such to take on such projects so it starts first it starts first off with education science mathematics engineering and technology need to be prioritized on this continent after we've gotten the education right then we need systems that enable uh, 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 business to thrive and ideas to thrive the easiest example is electrification we have a serious problem of power in this continent on this continent we don't have stable electricity therefore if you don't have stable electricity you can't have stable internet connection and there's, and there's a ripple effect in the economy so those are just some of the factors that I need uh, that I think uh, uh, need uh, urgent attention by our by our by our leaders all right finally are you optimistic that we'll see what you've written in your article um, in the year or two or a few years to, to come if the pressure is applied? Brother Rodas, I believe in Africa. Uh, I'm an African. This is home. I have to believe in it. And I think this article is one of many articles that we write on African to really inspire and provide I, uh, uh, Africans insights as to understand their home, their territory, what we have, what we don't have, what are the gaps, and make you understand that, look, this is where you are. This is the community you stay in. How do you make an impact? What tools do you need? What should you look, uh, what, should, what should you look at historically and what should you look into the future? Great stuff. Uh, again, great article that you've written there. It was a good read, and we do have to ask that question. Why can't Africa produce uh, semiconductors? Uh, Batong uh, Kotokwane, uh, technology researcher and uh, editor at iAfrica, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.